Global study has taken a snapshot of the diabetes epidemic and it's not a pretty picture. Diabetes rates have doubled in the last 30 years and one in 10 adults worldwide now has the disease. Pacific, the Pacific Islands have the highest rates in the world and New Zealand is right up there too. With us is John Denton from Diabetes New Zealand Auckland. Um, good morning. Are you at all surprised by the results of the new study? No. Not at all? No. Um, we've known and the government has known um, for some time that this epidemic has been on track. Um, way back in the middle of the 90s, uh, I headed a national plan of action from di for diabetes, which went nowhere. In the early 2000s, we also um, produced an extensive paper on the effect of this epidemic and not a lot was um, so, so remarked. This sort, of, this sort of study must be exciting for you guys. You get to yes. talk about diabetes. Yes, indeed. And, hey. and it needs to be talked about. You're calling it a hidden condition. Why? Um, it's silent. Uh, you don't You don't know, actually you die don't from it. You don't see it. Right. You don't generally die from it. You die from the consequences of it. Right. Because the downstream consequences of diabetes um, or particularly unmanaged or, or managed poorly. Mismanaged, yeah. Diabetes um, are huge. Um, half the heart attacks in this country, more than half the blindness in this country, considerable proportions of um, kidney failure, greatest number of amputations, all stem from diabetes. We're talking about the fact that, that the health systems of certain countries might fall over under the weight of this diabetes epidemic. Absolutely. Um, our health systems were really geared to what we call acute management. If you break your arm, they'll put it in plaster. That's tremendous. Diabetes, diabetes is, is an ongoing, diabetes thing, is an ongoing problem. It's a lifelong problem. Once it is got a it, lifelong got problem. Right. Yes. Yeah. So then you need healthcare all the time for the rest of your life. Is that what you're saying? Uh, you, 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 um, I've had diabetes for 45 years, um, but it requires daily management. That requires good knowledge and good self-management and those that knowledge and the skills to do that aren't well supplied in this country. Are we in any way close to any kind of a cure for diabetes? Not really. Um, the, the, are people I mean, looking you, the, for a cure? The, the, well people are looking for a cure. There was a major program on, on TV last night um, about what's happening in New Zealand. Um, but it's some distance off. So is it, is it a preventable disease? What's your message to people in New Zealand this morning? Um, uh, diabetes is, comes in two forms. Type 1, which is about 10% of the problem, um, where the insulin, there's no insulin production. It, it ceases. Um, that's that sort of has, genetic that, and that, there's nothing you can do about it. There is nothing you can do about it. It's a short, a short straw game. Type 2? Type 2, 90% of the problem. Uh, largely preventable and yet we take very few steps to prevent it. What do we need to get more action towards people being able to prevent themselves from getting diabetes? Well there's now a considerable number of people in this country who know about the condition and it's the people who know who need to be helping the people who don't know. That includes the ministry, it includes every level of um, authority down through city councils and so on because it's such a wide-ranging problem. It's not only a medical problem, it's a social problem. The way we structure our cities, the way that people can take exercise, walk, cycle, all have an influence on diabetes because type 2 diabetes is heavily dependent on good nutrition on the one side but also ample physical activity on the other. And as a nation, we've really shortened up on both those questions in the like, last 20 years. What would you like to see the government do? Well, it's got to exercise leadership. Uh, there is a distinct lack of leadership. And uh, principally, I'd say it has political ramifications because this isn't an epidemic that you're going to turn around inside three years. It's a long-term prospect but um, we've put papers up to government which show that very significant savings can be made in health costs uh, within 10 years and we need to take that as a small country so heavily affected. John Denton from Diabetes New Zealand Auckland, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you.